What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks for tuning in to the Game of Ripper DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the updated repatch for the PlayStation Vita. Now this is the most latest update from Dots, which is awesome. We will go ahead and get the plugin and we will do the whole process. Now I already have a PlayStation Vita application or game. Also I have the repatch information. We will go ahead and get the PPK file and to install our lovely plugin we will go ahead and get out of plugin.bpk. So a great source to follow would be games and consoles. Now they came out with these news yesterday as soon as possible. As you guys can see repatch version 3.0. Now we will need to use non-PDRM so that we can go ahead and make this run. We will also use the repatch PPK information. Now we will install like any other kernel plugin, but thanks to the auto plugin, it will do everything for us. So technically we just need to follow this video and get auto plugin so that we can go ahead and proceed, which is awesome. So you can go ahead and read more information on how to use repatch for the PlayStation Vita. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. Now if you want to download the repatch itself you can go ahead and click in the download section and it will download the plugin for your PlayStation Vita. You guys know that I like to keep my plugin centralized or you can also go to the GitHub for Dots which this is awesome. It is amazing guys what the developers are still maintaining the PlayStation Vita and supporting many features on it the auto plugin from the hero GAC which is an amazing application just go to storebrewology.com so we will go ahead and get our application you guys can see I already have the ID or game ID so if you have your game information remember to copy your game ID and then we will go ahead and go to the website to get the PPK file so we go to no pay station and I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description as well and then we just do control F so that we can search for that game ID and you guys can see it captures it we just click inside that folder and you guys can see the PPK file that has already been created and then we'll go ahead and download that information All right, awesome. We have the PPK file and we're going to open it with 7-zip. Now we're going to get all that information that is within that file and we're going to create a new folder. Now this folder needs to be inside the repatch folder and we're going to paste the game ID. You guys can see I already had it. I'm just going to replace it. Now I already had the files inside but as you guys can see the process I'm just going to copy and drag them to the new folder and replace my old files. So there you have it. I have the repatch folder and within it I have the game information or the game ID folder with the repatch files or the PPK files. Now I have my three files that I need to transfer to the PlayStation Vita which is auto plugin repatched and the game or the application so I connect my PlayStation Vita with Vita Show through the USB okay so now I have my folders so I will go to the app folder remember to unhide the hidden files so that you can see it in your computer just google it you'll be able to find it Okay, so now I'm going to get my game or application for the PlayStation Vita and I am just going to copy that game to the app folder. And then I'm going to paste it. Okay, simple as that guys. So we have our game information in there. Now, as you guys know, I already had a repatch folder. So if you don't have one, then just transfer the whole folder but in this case I already have a repatch folder so I'm just going to copy the game ID within the PlayStation Vita repatch folder that's all we need to do 
and then we're going to transfer the auto plugin .bpk to the root of the PlayStation Vita. Awesome, simple as that guys. So as long as you have all those three files, you should be fine. Okay, so we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now within the PlayStation Vita, we have our VPK, the auto plugin, and we're going to install it. Shouldn't take that long, fairly simple. And now we go to where all our partitions are at and we select triangle. And then we're going to refresh the live area. So triangle and then just press X. Now it'll say that it'll take a long time, really doesn't take that much. So we just refresh that information and it should capture our new game that we transferred to the app folder. Okay, refresh one item found. So we press OK. Now we can go to the live area and we can close Vita Show. You guys can see Auto Plugin has been installed and we have our game or application. So we launch Auto Plugin. So now we're going to install the important plugins to make this work. So the cool feature about Auto Plugin, if you've been using it, so you can go down to check for plugin updates. And now it'll look for the newest or if there's new updates and it will update. You guys can see Repatch has been updated, but in this case, I am going to install all the plugins that are necessary. So if you had the old Repatch, you can just do that and it will automatically update. But in this case, I'm going to install. So the non PDRM by the flow, also the no PSM DRM. Now the repatch plugin by dots version 3.0, which is the latest one. And another cool one that I love too. Well, all of these are great, but LOL icon to increase the CPU speed of your PlayStation Vita. This is amazing guys, pretty cool. So now we will go ahead and click start and it will restart our PlayStation Vita. So we just give it a moment. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try the game to see if it works. So far it is working. There you have it, the game is fully launchable. This is incredible. You don't have to update your PlayStation Vita to further firmware. Now this PlayStation Vita, you guys will see it's on 3.60. I'll go ahead and show it right now. So we can play higher firmware games with the repatch. I know a lot of you been trying to update your PlayStation Vita to higher firmware, but you don't really need to with repatch. All the games or the PPK files should work. So as you guys can see, I'm going to settings and I'm going to go to system, system information. And you guys can see this PlayStation Vita is on 3.60, which is awesome. So guys, get the auto plugin so you can get repatched and follow this tutorial. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Game of Rebirth, out.